A rare Spectre pickup in a much needed win here for PSG LGD. There have been two other Spectres picked up in this tournament. They were both picked up in the play in stage. You just outman fight this hero. You have a break in the Primal Beast, which is going to be super nice for us to Dispersion and the Mars here. In fact, this is that Primal Mars matchup that we've seen LGD play a lot. And if you give Primal a start, he might just run away with it and trample all over you. Yeah, some, look for some stick charges to it. work with, and the Tombstone's going to die here. Let's see if Omar gets out. He's got a healing self. He lives, and it's looking like he's going to be okay. At a reasonable pace, then. You can start to get active. Oh, look at this play. Well farming some stacks. Nothing to say. He Very makes nice. a rotation. We saw this a couple times uh, during, like, Dream League and stuff. With the mid making the rotation to the Wisdom Rune, if it works out, it's brilliant. You get a kill and a support. You take the Wisdom Rune away from the enemy team. Kisses going out on NTS with a blood grenade from Omar. That's just an easy rotation. So much for the Lestrax oh, momentum here. They just turn it straight back around against him. And looking for that eight minute power rune in 20 seconds. And that was Planet. also because he killed the Rubik. The Rubik was able to rotate back to mid off the of TP. So, and in fact, he's going to use that momentum to get another kill on mid. Yeah, but it maybe that maybe that was him being forced to do standard things. A lot of ults used, a lot of spells missed down here as well. Kyrie's definitely dead. On the slash going out. See if they can kill the juggernaut when he comes back down. Blade Fury's back up. He'll just TP away. They have no BKB piercing disables. That's where your shadow team is gonna be effective. But for right now, these towers are getting pressured heavily. LGD getting split around the map. Shiro's gonna get Dunked on again. I don't know if he dies here. It's just they don't have terrible. the rotations to get here, oh, so he does he's dead. <laughs> okay. Okay, I mean, your carry is gone like that. You TP to Mars up here, got nothing. Why is dying to kiss his mid, and your mid one tower has also been slain here. Things are not going too smooth for LGD in the first 11 minutes here. You can take defensive fights, which slain LGD can look for in this game. Fourth man decay will global. not save you. Global also makes those defensive fights hard. I mean, NTS went this Yules, right? If yep. he runs in, he Yules someone into a Split Earth. What's the follow-up? Here they're going to commit everything on the Noob, and he's trying to TP. This will not work. It'll buy some time, however. Yeah, fortunately, the Yule Scepter is a uh, disable that they didn't need. Global Silence for a nice Demonic Purge. Keeps Malik from getting on top of the back line here. Now, they're probably going to lose there and dying, but if they can save some of this damage from the Omni Slash, they might still have some fighting power left around this Tombstone. You can see, nothing to say. Still oh, going to break it. A lot of burst damage back to him. Oh, the spear back, TA2000, dodge it with the Blade Fury. Now the tombstone's dealt with. Quest will run down an additional hero, perhaps. Kauri, oh Ooh. no, what? TA2000 has so stacks. many stacks on him, man. Oh, what a disaster. That fight was kind of okay for Quest if they kill you, yeah, but instead I... they don't get him and the Juggernaut dies. Ooh, that feels damn good with the max poison here for Planet as he... Oh, the purge, the kisses. Here. That'll finish him off. He's got the Yule Scepter, but he's going to come back down into more kisses. They don't run out. Now, killing Malak is a big pickup. This guy's had a pretty good game, but they're struggling to finish him off. They finally do, but Noob is in a good position to chase down the extra heroes now. Mew. Probably going to be caught here as the split earth. earth stolen by the Rubik. He spears the Snapfire in front of him, blinks away. Mew gets out a second time on just a sliver of HP. Uh, LGD. Yeah. So if that's Bloodstone, if it's E-Blade, if it's Nihilism, if it's Wind Wakers, if it's ooh, Glimmer Force Stabs, whatever that is, yeah, that's going to make the team fight feel uh -oh. a lot better for LGD. Mew's going to be in trouble here, but he does have some allies to tank up this Omni Slash with him. Demonic Purge going to be used here, trying to slow him down, but Noob is going to be able to land a good cookie, help burst down these heroes, and get the Tombstone. Malik's now looking for more. He's so fast with he the really plus the drum. wants nothing to say. <laughs> oh, and he had BKB, so he had a chance to go for it. You can't keep your Tombstone alive for a Shredder. There's not a reliable way to kill this Healing Ward in the engagement. T2000 has the Global to bail him out, as well as his own spin. Just going to get better in the 25s, of course. The cherry on top, as oh. Malak's going to start the fight on a very nice target. Yeah, get the Shadow Demon now. They are going to be able to counter and go for the Rubik kill here off of the arena. Global Sound slows it down a little bit. TA2000 is a bit low. Remember, he has the Aegis, though. Why you smile? He's going to be a target here. Gets away off the Glimmer Cave. The SG LGD are actually doing a pretty good job kiting this one around. TA2000 is going to have to go for a spin TP out on Revive here. Does have it. Will he make it? What oh, he got the spear on him. Wasn't able to get the Blade Fury before that. Really nicely timed by New. He had to get the spear out and basically on top Juggernaut on Revive to be able to get that kill.
very awkward from Quest. He, he might be lucky he didn't get speared there, to be honest. Yeah. I think that's the type of fight LGD would love to take. Some deep fight around their tombstone behind a tower where the haunt is going to crush your backline while your frontline is initiating in an awkward spot. Quest needs to be careful about jumping that deep unless you're sure you're bringing down a big core instantly. And NTS just going to charge up the hill. He does not have BKB. He feels invincible. I don't know if that's true. Glimmer Cape is going to be used on him, but they have the detection to be able to reveal him. The Global Silence covers it. Yule Scepter selfie. The bounce around the Omni Slash. Chris as he comes down. Bit oh. unfortunate there. Meanwhile, Shiro did pop his ultimate and ran down the support, but his team is losing this fight. Maybe Neo could save it, though. Got a spear on a TA-2000 against the arena walls. TA-2000 get a bit low. Cookie, got to be able to help him out. Slow him got down with the dagger. The and shield the rune. Pressure. Shiro, oh, oh, shield rune. And he pops a Blade Fury, TPs away. Oh, holy Gaben. That has was answered nice pick up. <laughs> his prayers. There's no instant illusion kill, however. You do have a global, so you can instant global the haunt. Jump in straight arena, but only catch Malak inside of that arena, who easily uses his BKB. Now they're going to use the purge on him, slow him down. Why you smile? Gets a really good tombstone out of the side, and Quest is pretty split. Yeah, they got Shiro's Shiro's going to try and run down Noob, who hops down into the river area. He's going to have a chance to be able to blink away. Meanwhile, the spear lands on TA-2000. He is not getting much damage done whatsoever, but nothing to say overextended himself and got killed. Now the Omni Slash put on to Mew after he killed the Tombstone. So now TA-2000 can have some big impact. He'll cleave down one and the Pulverize to be able to stop the Undying TP away. How did that go so well for Quest? Shiro just got kited out on the backside by Noob and Omar. Putting on the move. In fact, what is close for him? It is Scotty finish for him. So, also a very nice timing here. The Spectre's still having a pretty damn good game. You did get a Silencer buyback out of that fight. This is a very game deciding high ground push here for Quest. If you don't get it with this Aegis, this game is going to get prolonged, and then you're heading into late game Spectre territory. I'm sure TA2000 is confident in his carry matchup is the team. He'll start Jump on the Undying Y. See, Malak can't quite burst him. He's going to get speared back. This is dangerous. The Kisses will manage to blow up two, though, with the help beyond the Slash. The up. Mars and the Undying both die. Malak, just with his sheer aggression, manages to set up a pretty good fight for them. There's just no damage going into him there. I thought that was going to be worse than Primal. He got speared before the BKB. Didn't even have to drop the Healing Ward. That's just ridiculous here. TA2000 has absolutely no fear in this game super far up. This is, I mean, you can go late game Spectre, but if you're this far ahead in net worth and you've got two physical damage dealers that are scaling really nicely, and everybody else is oh, scaling decently splitter. in magic damage, boy, he dies fast. Nothing to say. No save there from Planet. Man, Omar has destroyed NTS with these stolen split Earths. He even has the shard to back it up here, so that's going to help him go high ground. He's done more than the Lesh this game, it feels like. As Quest will take a second lane, no answer from LGD. This is while Haunt is up. He's just killing your tombstone here. Blade Fury, they're hoping for some bashes here. New set up disruption. Bails him out of the scatter blast. The physical damage is danger, but New does manage to blink away. Now the Pulverize is going to be used onto the Spectre, bringing him low, and there goes that Agonim. He used Scepter. Haunt too. That's, he's just gone. No, but that's just GG. GG. I, mean, G -G. I don't know. This has to be back to the drawing board for LG, right? They're playing slower than Quest. I don't even know if their scale is better. They have very little early game play options, and they're not winning the lanes. I mean, what are you doing in this game? In the and end? they're also giving comfort heroes, right? They gave the Sapphire away. Yes, which I, you said his first pick for a reason. It wasn't illegal. in this draft, but it's like, how many times are you going to give Nuke Snapfire, man? If there's one hero you have to think about when you were playing Quest, it's a Snapfire. I think it does way too much for them. It bounces out all of TA2000's heroes. It gives them a flex hero. I'm sure they can play it all play, and then you get this Primal Beast first. You're flexing both of them. They can do Roche on themselves with the uh, stacking minus armor that they have. The air lineup is extremely well suited to take that as an objective as well, especially with this Helm of the Dominator, which I assume is coming out for new this game. He has it queued up. This is a pretty good Helm of the Overlord game. Nothing to really eat the creep, nothing to deal with it in the fights. It's kind of a lot of just chunky damage from Quest. Look at Planet just straight up down. ignoring Kauri because he really wants to kill in the TA-2000. That would be it. a beautiful first blood to get, and they've got it. New, slice him down with the axes. 
This Weaver is a really strong ganker, and already they are putting more pressure. Oh wow! On the Look 2000. at this rotation. Why you smile? He comes to the safe lane to see if they can kill TA2000. And if they did, he'd have to do the walk of shame back out to lane. But even if they don't get the kill, they're gonna kill Kauri. We got the south cancel. He gets the south yeah, cancel, and he's rough. gonna be able to get away. And TA2000 is very likely still to die here. He's gonna fight for his life, try and get a kill out of this one. The primal beast will show up. Doesn't even have his onslaught up just yet. Why you smile? Just really trying to go through it, and he does manage to get the kill first. Noob will get something out of this, but think about how much CS just got lost. Think about the Templar Assassin, whose TP is still on cooldown for another 15 seconds. Not a lot of space to operate for the Tia already, and we're only seven minutes in. If you've uh, never seen that interaction before, Phoenix versus Silencer. A Silencer, when you put last word on Phoenix, he can no longer use Icarus Dive, because if he does, he silence and can't stop Icarus Dive, so he'll just return to where he started. So it's a rough interaction for uh, for the Phoenix. Are you bringing the Tidehunter to combat that fight? Are you willing to commit everybody else as well? They're gonna find Weaver might just be able to burst him here. Yeah, they got it with the pulverized arrow combination. That's just gonna be something that's constantly going through. A roar onto a Phoenix will yield Sentry under tower, Probably Sentry like behind the tower. There's that last word interaction. Sorry, Phoenix. And that's earn charges for Planet. So he's fully online now. Big pickup. Nothing to say though. He's going to get run down underneath his own tower. New picks up another big kill. And this is helping him cruise along to his BKB. He's been running around trying to find anything. It's just he doesn't have a core that can connect onto him that fast. He will finally find a target. The Templar Assassin here. So down, you is going to be able to hit the Primal Roar. Now they're between a Tier 1, Tier 2, and the Ravage are going to go off hitting all four of them. They turn around with the Hammer. Shiro's going to get a little bit low, but he got off the Chronosphere. He'll finish off that Templar Assassin and try and jump away with the Time Walk. He's good for now. Unless the arrow lands, Omar can't quite get that Star Storm at a couple of shots. Enough. That is enough. Omar chases him down, and they get carry for carry. I think that's been some of the issue for LGD. And the Beastmaster didn't play as aggressively as I would have wanted, but he still has a very nice timing on the Helm of the Overlord here. So as long as LGD can get something good done with that, I think they'll be happy during this period. However, Noob is continuing his ramp. Oh, not quite there. Time lapse goes off just in time, and Planet gets um, some much needed space, I think, for PSG LGD, perhaps to make a move here. Gallery gonna be hit with the last word, but they're behind the tier two. Malik knows it too, he's trying to get some vision with the beer. I mean, he almost got the Beastmaster. He'll slow down while you smile, and they'll probably pick up that kill. He does have 12 magic wand charges if he really wants to try for this one. He's given a little helping hand there with the cookie, and a scatter blast to slow down Malik. He's good to go. I mean, the thing is, they found Planet eventually bought him. It's a lot more gold for Omar. These two quest supports are getting a lot out of the map right now, and LGD continuing to find nothing off the momentum the planet built early. Maybe wishing they could time-lapse part of this game back in the last three or four minutes here. Yeah. Get a bit more done with this Helm of the Overlord. Oh, and why you smile? Not only did they catch planet, but why you smile is still gonna die. This Moonlight Shadow allows Malik to catch up. <laughs> it's almost getting to the point where I just said go into Roche, right? Like, just do something together as a team and get it done with the objective-taking capability you have here. Yeah, do you're, something productive with your life. You're losing too much on the map. If you lose the Faces Void... Oh, LGD, you are giving up a lot during this period. A hell of a lot. Levels on Supernova. He's already up to eight attacks Radiant's to destroy that Supernova. Radiant's now, Snapfire attack. can no longer one-shot it. He's going to require the Weaver to be able to... Who can get the extra hit in or two with the Geminate's attacks? But it's like, you know, this is becoming more and more tickled. They have to put more resources into this Phoenix, who maybe never really should have been an issue. Something about the map is a little off for LG right now. Maybe it's the vision that Quest are proposing here. They have a tide who can front line. Nothing to say. Gets off the win. BKB. Global Silence immediately is the response as well. They get off the Pulverize, though, grabbing him. But the TA with the double damage can't quite do enough damage with the Ravage. Catches them in the end. Malik times it beautifully. Supernova goes out as well. Quest will protect themselves as they dive in deep past the Tier 2. There is Shiro up here on the high ground. Primal Roar goes out. They're going to be able to breathe down this That's Primal a lot of Beast. Bashes. Noob, a little bit too aggressive here, but watch out for that double damage. DA2000 is still rocking, and he's taking away oh, the, the Aegis from the Faceless Void. He almost killed Mew off the side blades there on the Golem. The creep betraying the Master here. 
<laughs> not the beat. <laughs> <God. laughs> Thank you, production. Why is a beetle thing even a... You know how long they've been waiting to use beetles, kill gold? Nobody plays Weaver. Malik uses another defensive ravage, though this time he is definitely going to be paying the Butcher's bill as the Chronosphere is going to ensure the kill. He looked to lock down TA2000 as well, but TA was fast enough to blink away. He does not get caught. What, total summon? Gold. Including the Helm of Dawn creeps and stuff, yeah. Planet doesn't have Jordan. time lapse, so he's dead. Gets burnt up in the fire and flames of the Phoenix. Why you smile? Primal War trying to get it off. Finally goes down. Why you smile? Could still die, but Noob very likely doesn't want to blow any resources to be diving. So maybe it was two Helma Overlords, two Helma Doms? There's been way more than two Helma Overlord creeps. I've seen at least three. Are you saying they're lying to you? I fight fake news. Yes. This step might or might huh. not have been accurate. <laughs> For once, I was right. Oh, there's the going to be out. inside the vice reveal. It was a heavy commitment. I mean, they Certainly, didn't know. the supernova not needed. But then again, the su has the supernova been needed in any of these fights no. in the West? And it's more about is there going to be a global out there? Is there going to be a chrono? You don't know where that counter initiation is going to come from. Gush in a meteor hammer hits new. He actually uses his BKB out of pure fear. Man, he has upped the strength here in the last few minutes. 3,600 HP. You can throw a Solar Crest on top of him as well. Maybe someone's Anchor Smash. We talk about, oh, the TA trap. Is is going to come back up in time? It is not. Got the dust, though. Dust post time lapse. Like Still keeping the vision. They got the scythe on him, and now the Pulverize is up. Now we'll grab him, pound him into the ground. Ah, this Hex has already paid off for Kauri, and LG are continuing to find farm, though he does not groan. Uh oh I'm just oh no, he's going to time lock into a TA trap, into a scythe. TA2000 is going to blow apart Shiro. Those are not your ancients to take, my friend. Are LG ready for this? They have a really good hawk. Look at White Smile's position. This is pretty crazy. One smoke is going to break. It's going to be new. Malik, he's going to jump for instantly ravage. And he got him clumped up. Beautiful stuff. Quest in one bold move from Malik. Instantly wins the fight. They'll get three off of that one. They'll get Roshan off of that one. And that might just be the game closer move right there. It's going to be another base push with Aegis Cheese for sure here out from Quest. As Malik sees the opening, seizes it. Whereas two for Quest already have it online. And they may never get the chance to if might not. Malik Hex strikes again. The out. Side, and there it goes, Dark Terror. No respect New for trying the to initiation. make it out, but even he gets grabbed by the Pulverize during his BKB. Why you smile? Four staff trying to get him out, but he falls as well. Everybody Another is dying, hex. trying to retreat, and they do not have buybacks. No level 20s, no buybacks, and no more Riyadh Masters for PSG LGD. They get 2 0 Quest will claim victory here on the big stage. That is not the tournament I think a lot of people were expecting from LGD. However, this is a run that you need to expect from Quest as they are continuing to show up on these big LAN events in a very short time interval. This team continues to impress, especially T2000, especially Kauri on this Phoenix. At this point, do you want to give it to him? If you do, you need to prioritize it. And LGD, they just look shook today, man. Nothing yes. was clicking for them. They're going to end up just going quietly into the night here. A very muted game, too. 